Well, I've had some questions on this mobile little solar array. Um, I built this one before I built my big hay wagon uh, array. So had some questions on Facebook and I thought I'd make a quick little video for you guys, for anyone interested on in how I put it together. So here at the bottom, these are, I believe, one by six deck boards. So they're not super thick, obviously. And I'll kind of come back and show you. Um, if I was to do it over again, I don't know if you can tell, there is a little bit of sway there in the middle. Um, I would probably go a little bit thicker. It's, it does okay, but I'll show you where I messed up. So I didn't accommodate for that little sway that was inevitably going to begin. Um, I have these little pads here because when I pull this thing around, this wants to bounce and clack the aluminum casings together. So just a couple of little pads. It's not much. I mean, I barely pick up and they'll fall out. So it's just for when I'm um, wheeling it around and they will still fall out on me if I'm not careful. But I added a little, just a little paracord lead. There we go. So I can pull it around the yard, move it towards the sun, do whatever I need to do. Um, these are eco-worthy 41 inch aluminum brackets. So these are the 41 inch ones on my bigger array, which the video, I have a video on. Um, those are 45 inch brackets. And again, they're doubled. If you want to see that, check the other video. <clears throat> this was the first one I built. Here we've got some casters from Harbor Freight. Let's see if I can spin this one. Maybe it's got a sticker still on it. Here we go. Okay. It's gonna be backwards for you guys, I'm sorry. Eight inch pneumatic swivel caster. Item number is four two eight uh, sorry, four two four eight five brand hallmaster. Um they had two different variations when I was there, but I got all four as swivels. Just so I can, if I really need to push it up against the house, I can. Um some people prefer to only have you know, two swivels on one side and then two straights on the other. I will say if you have any sort of like incline, my yard's a little wavy. Um, sometimes when you're pulling it, it doesn't want to go completely straight. It'll follow the, the incline a bit. So that's something to take into consideration. But um, all I, I did here was I used some screws up through the deck boards. And then after I screwed them together, I uh, drilled some holes for these bolts here. And that's how it actually mounts to the casters down there. So these panels are not bifacial like my other array. Um, model number is ECOM100W. I'll see, can I get to those stickers at all? They're kind of covered up. Um, let's see, I can show you some of it there. Kind of move that out of the way the best I can. Give you guys that. These panels have done pretty good. Um, on a real cold, sunny day, I want to say I saw a little bit over 400 with these as well on my brother's Delta II. But I'd say on average when it's warm out, when it's sunny but it's warm out, I'm probably seeing 340 to 350 on average with these. But yeah, I just thought I'd give a little rundown of this little array. I haven't been using it much. I gave my brother's Delta II back and I've been using a Delta Pro, which I feed with this bad boy. So, um, but yeah, if you guys have any tests or things you want to see, I've got it wired two series, two parallel for the Delta II due to the voltage limitations on it. But, um, just some little, some little lag screws. That's how I attach the panels on my other one. Got four holding each leg. So, yeah, if you guys got any questions, put them down below. And if you need to see anything else on it, let me know. Thanks, guys.